Welcome to day seven of our Sikkim adventure. Just regular cold water. We're here at Selby's. I'm so excited to try the food. We ordered the tingmo, which I've been wanting to try ever since we came to Sikkim. And mom ordered the strawberry boba, which is my favorite. We're going to see if it's as good as the one at Baker's Cafe. And we ordered some other stuff and I'll show it to you when it comes. If you want, they might not wave back at you. Strawberry boba. The flavor of the drink itself is good. Let's try to get some of the boba this time. So they're not traditionally like round like they usually are. They're good. They don't have a whole lot of flavor, but they are yummy. Here is the strawberry boba. I'm very excited to try it. So to be honest, I don't really like these bobas as much as the last ones. They're they're the tapioca ones, not like the other ones. The drink itself tastes like it has real strawberry. I'll give this a six out of ten. These are the drunken Thai noodles. They smell delicious. It's really delicious. It's not super spicy, but it does have a lot of flavor, which is important. I love it. I give it an 8 out of 10. This is my veg sandwich. The cheese sauce's texture is very strange on your mouth. It kind of feels like little plastic. The chips are very good. 10 out of 10. The sandwich, I'm going to give it seven out of ten. Mm -hmm. This is the Tingmo. I'm so excited to try it. Oh, your face. <laughs> okay, I'll hold this. Okay. I just want to show you, it's got so many layers. It kind of has the texture of a bagel. It's very good. I really like it. I'm going to give this an eight out of ten. There it is. So excited to try it. It's good. The bread itself is very light, doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, but the texture is really good. And I love the aliba, it has a very interesting flavor. Different from the one we get at the hotel, but still very really good. Seven out of ten. We're at we're at Zongri Bakery and Cafe. I'm so excited to try the desserts. So we're going to try the baked cheesecake in the pinari tart. I just noticed they have some really great books here. Oh, this looks beautiful. I read part of this one. It's a book of poetry by Rupi Kaur. And it's really pretty. So here's the chocolate tart. Here it is. Beautiful. The chocolate filling is so smooth. It's amazing. The puff pastry is very flaky. This is a eight and a half out of ten. Super good. It was really good. I loved the filling and the pastry was so flaky. I liked everything about it. It was a finger food and we <laughs> utilized it with our forks. But it's definitely an 8 out of 10. Next up is this beautiful masterpiece, a vanilla fruit pastry. Go right in. It's so soft. It's so light. So sweet. I think this is whipped cream and that's custard delicious. I love the chocolate on top. I love everything about it. It's light, it's sweet, it's pleasant, it's good. 8 out of 10. Mm. Mm. 
It's kind of like a banana cream pie. This is banana at the bottom, not custard. And this is whipped cream, and that's chocolate. This gets an 8 out of 10. Last but not least, the baked cheesecake. It looks amazing. The crust is just this beautiful shade of golden brown. <laughs> Don't know why I'm crossing it with my fork. <laughs> and we're just gonna go right in, we're gonna try it. It's really good. It's nice and thick, like a cheesecake should be. I like the chopping, it's not overpoweringly sweet. But it is good. The crust is nice. All of it. It's an all-around delicious experience. Eight and a half out of ten. So looking at this, I'm seeing that the crust is actually the cheesecake. This is very good. Nine out of ten. Super good. I like that it's thick. Personally, I like a little bit more of a cheesier taste. So the oven on the mountain is still my favorite cheesecake, but this is definitely so good. Here we are at Golden Tips, and we're going to try to buy some tea. As soon as we entered the Golden Tips tea bar, I immediately felt as if I had entered the pearly gates of heaven. Truly, I believe that tea is the most important meal of the day, for me at least. I have a giant teapot of tea every single morning, anywhere from six to eight cups of unsweetened green tea. So just looking at the shelves and just, it was just amazing just to be in there. They had so many different kinds of tea, so many different infusions, different kinds of herbal teas. They had blue tea, purple tea, peppermint green tea, jasmine green tea, plain green tea. They even had teapots, mugs, thermoses, hourglasses to measure the time that you steep your tea with, different jars and different packagings, different grades, premium tea, standard tea. They had all kinds of different things. They even had small little taster packs with small amounts of different kinds of tea. I want to try this lavender mint green tea. This looks cool. This blue tea, dreamy desire, which sounds interesting. It's lavender rubios green tea, which is ginger licorice herbal tea, cardamom green tea. Oh, I would love to sample. How many can I try? Uh, you can try, we can provide you for two, five compliments to sample. Okay, five samples. This is going to be good. Should I try the, this one? The, and the purple tea. I'm going to sample the white tea. I'm very excited. So here is the rice tea, a little bit of tea, because she is not a maniac. She does not drink an entire pitcher full of tea every morning. Yes, ma'am. 1,700, you said? And 60. Okay. 1, so I'll take the these, you take them. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. It's so pretty. So these four are all teas that I have bought, and I'm so excited because they are just as pretty as I dreamed they would be. So this is Dreamy Desire, Lavender Rubios, with a green tea infusion. So. All four of these cups. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was just sitting in the shame. I couldn't move. I was frozen. I'm glad I filmed it. <laughs> I feel so horrible. But you're not helping. Nothing happened. I just drank this much Go. and forgot to film it. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna pretend that that's what happened. Doing good. Um, this is the dreamy desire lavender rubio green tea infusion. It, it really is really good. It has a lot of depth, a lot more flavor than the green tea that we usually get. It is really good. It has a lot of depth. So this is the potent potpourri. This one probably has the most different things in it, and it was one of the most exciting ones to me. So I'm really excited to try it. It's sweeter. It, it really has a good aftertaste. Very sweet, I love it. I could drink 50 of these every morning easily. Saved you one sip, Sarai, aren't you happy? I'm greedy. 
This is very good. It reminds me of tea I had when I was in London Street for all of Yeah, at the cafe probably. To the green blush, drip rose green tea. This is going to be really interesting because I haven't had a rose green tea before. It smells like roses. really good. It isn't as sweet as the other ones. This one's a little bit more bitter, but it definitely has a rose flavor as soon as you try it. I saved you more of this one. It's a bit bitter, but it tastes a lot like roses, so I'm going to graciously give it back to the dish. And because it's green tea, my lifeblood, I will drink it. <laughs> I really love Hollister. I'm really excited for these, but the potpourri one it was so good. Well, thank you for letting me try them. Yeah, I'm going to try the white tea. I really am excited to try this. I've never even heard of it before. I really like it. I felt a real tea connoisseur drink the tea. So this is the white tea. I have had white tea before, I just can't remember what it tastes like. It's, it's good, I'm just wondering why it's the most expensive tea. You can finish it. I like the potpourri one most. Most excited to try it. The purple tea and the blue tea. Because we all know that if it's brightly colored, I love it. Try the purple one first. I'm going to try the purple one first. So, really excited. So it isn't really sweet. It has a bit of like a fruity taste right at the beginning. It isn't super sweet, but... It does smell really good, which is a big factor for me. I like it, and I like that it kind of tastes how it looks, if that makes sense. I don't know, but I really like it. Oh, I should say something. Can you give this one? It does taste very fruity, and it's like it has lemon in it. This is just very good with honey. Now moving on to the blue tea. You hold it up to the light. It's a little bit purple. It smells really good. I'm really excited to try it. It's nice. I don't know if it's just my brain telling me this because of the color, but I kind of get just at, at the very end a tiny bit of like a kind of blue raspberry flavor. <laughs> I think that just might be me. But other than that, it's good. It has a little bit of a floral taste. It's quite sweet. I really like it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry I was enjoying it so much. I almost forgot. I really like this one too. It's got a very light flavor. What's this one? Can I go back and get another bag of the Pope for you one? Oh, look, the tables are trees. I just noticed that. It's tasty ginger. Oh, after I taste it. It's very nice. Very nice. When you add, are you good on milk and sugar too? I might add a little sweeter to it, but you know it's really good. Yeah, it's very, very light tasting. I like it. Okay, so we're at Rago's fast food and we're gonna have some momos. Fresh lime juice. I'm very excited. I love fresh lime juice. <laughs> so everyone else was talking about how tired they are. And I'm just I still feel really good from drinking all that tea. I just I, I don't feel like wired, but I feel like a little bit of like a buzz and I feel like tingly and nice, which is really pleasant. Usually with the green tea that I've had before, the stuff we used to get shipped to Punjab, I would either feel like very strongly jittery or I wouldn't feel anything. But this is a very pleasant sensation. This was a blend of all the different teas that gave me this feeling, but I really like it. I can't wait to have the tea every day. <laughs>
fresh from juice, very savory. Mm -hmm. We're sure I've ever had. So this is Dad's roll here. Looks delicious. It's so very hot. It's very nice. It's an interesting shape. I've never seen in this shape before. They're not the best, but they're good. I'll be doing a highlight. So here's part of one. Okay. It's going to be really light chili moments. This is an easy set of time. It's very spicy. Here's the complimentary soup that comes with the momos. This is the sweet corn soup. Nice and toasty. Thank you, so it doesn't really have any flavor because it's supposed to put this stuff on it. Which I would do now. It's good, I'm just gonna add a bit of more salt. Now it's good. I'll give it 4 out of 10. Rahul's fast food was not my favorite. The momos, soup, and lime drink were okay, but they weren't memorable. I preferred soul food a lot more. <laughs>